The worst economic crisis in 45 years has left the archipelago nation of Cape Verde increasingly exposed to organized crime and money laundering, undermining the country's political stability and eroding its judicial independence. Corruption is everywhere. Drug money is all over the country. The G7 Financial Action Task Force, which investigates money laundering, gave a no-pass report, putting Cape Verde on the European Grey List. Criminals were using businesses, non-governmental organizations and real estate companies to launder money. Cape Verde's location makes it an important transhipment and storage point for drugs being trafficked from Latin America to Europe. According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, Cape Verde topped the list of countries in West Africa where the highest quantity of cocaine was seized between 2009 and 2014, both at sea and on land. Cape Verde's constitution prohibits torture, but the media continues to report instances of police brutality, excessive force, and aggression against suspects. Oh my God. The National Police Council responded to the abuses in most cases, says a U.S. Department of State 2015 Human Rights Report. According to Hartvik Fisher, who sits on the Committee for Human Rights and Humanitarian Aid, Cape Verde lacks the means to guard the seaways against illegal migration and drug trafficking. Cape Verde is not in a position to make just judgment. A Pangea risk report forewarned investors that the Cape Verdean judicial process and police system is highly vulnerable and could be susceptible to criminal activities. Since the illegal arrest of Venezuelan Ambassador Alex Saab in June 2020, false information about him and the Venezuelan government have been floating all over the internet. It is believed that Ambassador Saab's prolonged detainment without warrant is to increase pressure on Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro. U.S. intelligence officials believe Saab to be instrumental in Maduro's negotiations with allies. Capitalist powers see Venezuela as a threat because it shows them that a different world is possible. They see Venezuela in the crosshairs of a far-flung, CIA-orchestrated sabotage plot determined to undermine it. In regards to the Alex Saab arrest, a Truth and Justice Commission should be set up with bipartisan support right now. The restoration of a modicum of trust through reciprocal gestures is strongly needed. Aprovecho esta oportunidad para llamar la atención del grupo de trabajo sobre la preocupante situación del embajador Alex Saab, detenido arbitrariamente en Cabo Verde desde el pasado 12 de junio de 2020. Se impulsa un ilegal proceso de extradición a los Estados Unidos a pesar de un fallo vinculante del Tribunal de Justicia de la CDA. A pesar de todo esto, las autoridades caboverdianas se niegan a liberarlo, a respetar su inmunidad e inviolabilidad. Reiteramos nuestro llamado sobre lo arbitrario de esta detención que constituye un grave peligro para la salud y la vida del embajador Saab, demandando a sí mismo su inmediata libertad. For the evident US persecution against our country, we demand respect for their human rights and their immediate release, as the ECOWAS court has decided. I'm calling on the Cape Verde government and the international support of uh, the human rights to release Alex Saab with an immediate effect. Free Alex Saab now. What matters is that he should not be extradited. Um, he should be released. There's just no question about that. This is the U.S. using the long arm of its law um, as it tries to do around the world.